Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see how to create a dashboard using MicroStrategy. So for this, let us go to MicroStrategy desktop. Okay, now let us go to add a new data. Let us, we can add data from multiple data sources, but in this case, let us select file from disk. Okay, let us select choose files and let us select a Excel sheet. So let us click open. Now let us go to prepare data because we may have to change the data types and all right. So over here, now we can see all the data that was there in that Excel sheet. But out of this data, gold medal is not a, uh, it is actually a metric. Okay, it is not a dimension, it is a metric. So let us convert it to metric. So instead of an attribute, let us convert these things into metric. Similarly, silver medals, number of silver medals one is also a metric. Similarly, number of silver bronze medal one is also a metric and total medals one is also a metric. Okay, and now we can finish. So now our data has come and it has correctly identified now uh, different things as attributes and matrices. Okay, so now let us first of all go and add our first metric. Let us add, uh, let us uh, view this data as per this, right? on on that is we will have a bar graph so let us have a country okay let us have country in the horizontal okay and let us have number of gold medals in vertical okay so now we have got the countries and the corresponding gold medals but we will like to add a filter over here so let us go to filter filter for country okay and what we want we want the top 10 right by number of gold medals okay so we want highest 10 right so this is exactly the the visualization that we want right so let, let us just save this file so let us go and save this file as first dash board okay enter okay now in order to add another visualization to this dashboard we, we have to click over here so it will add second visualization now in this second visualization let us add year okay uh, let us add a line chart let us add year okay and let us add the age okay but age we'll have to convert it into a matrix so duplicate as matrix and then we don't want sum of the age, but we all we want is average of age, right? So average of age is now available. Let us delete this sum of age. We don't need it. Okay. So average of age is also something that we require over here. So now we have got this second visualization ready. Okay. So as per year, it is showing the average age of the athletes, right? So this is the second visualization. Now let us add third visualization to our dashboard. Insert visualization. Let us arrange it. Let us place it over here. Okay. And in this, let us have sports. Okay. And let us have total medals. Okay. Fine. So these are the three visualizations. Also, let us do one thing. Let us if, let us have a functionality where if we click anywhere over here in sports, it should filter this part. Okay. So let us go over here and say use as filter for the visualization number two okay so now if i click over here you can see that the this particular graph is changing that is because it is this, this data is getting filtered as per the selection in the second visual in this visualization okay so now we have achieved what we wanted to achieve only thing is we need to put proper labels right so we let, let us go over here and say insert text okay so let us uh, say uh, top 10 okay let us say top 10 countries by by as okay by gold medals one okay so this is our first label and ideally this label should be appearing over here okay fine and let us remove this visualization okay so let us hide the title bar okay similarly let us hide the title bar over here and let us hide the title bar over here okay now let us add another text box 
and this is average age by year okay fine and this actually should should be appearing somewhere over here right okay and the third is let us add insert text and the third is uh, total medals okay so it is medals by sports okay S P U R sports okay fine and let us add this particular thing over here okay now let us just format it let us make it bold similarly let us just format it and let, um, let us make this as bold similarly let us format this and make it as bold okay so now we have got our first dashboard ready where we are able to filter the data okay right for the third graph based on the second graph okay and also we have got a bar chart as part of the first graph okay so i hope friends this video tutorial on how to create a dashboard in microstrategy is useful to you thank you